Every night here on Fox 9, we'd like to take a closer look at the weather. It's getting cold out these days. Mm, colder. And we even have the, uh, the S word coming. Snow. That would be snow. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's that time of year. It is that time of year. It's and inevitable. something in between there would yes. be... Ice. Freezing rain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Freezing rain is ice. So we're going to ask that question from one of our weather whiz kids from Amity Elementary. Hi, my name is Grayson. I'm a fourth grader at Amity Elementary, and my question is, what makes freezing rain? All right, Grayson, great question. What makes freezing rain? Because there's a difference between freezing rain and sleet, or sleet being ice pellets. That's the same thing, sleet and ice pellets. Freezing rain is different. Sleet is basically when precipitation begins to fall. It starts out in the form of snow almost year-round. It comes down, it reaches warm air, and it melts. Then there's a layer of cold air. See this wedge of cold air under here? As warm air is coming in, it comes in aloft over the top of the cold air, and it will melt that snowflake into water. And then if this layer of cold air is thick enough, that melting, that uh, raindrop now will come into that uh, freezing layer of air and then refreeze into an ice pellet, a little tiny ice cube hitting the ground and bouncing. That is an ice pellet or sleet. But in this case here, if you move all the way down to here, the wedge of cold air is very thin. And so we have a snowflake, it turns to a raindrop, and it enters the freezing air, which is touching the ground. The ground is cold. The water does not have enough time to refreeze, and so it hits the ground in the form of liquid, and that's freezing rain because it hits the ground and freezes, coating it with ice. And so that's the difference between sleet and freezing rain. It doesn't seem to happen often very much in the trip. Uh, much in the Treasure Valley, but back east it certainly does. As a storm system is coming in, you have cold air in place, and warm air comes in, it rides over the cold air, that rising air causes all kinds of snow to fall, and as that cold layer begins to shrink and warm air moves in, it turns it over to, to a sleet, and then it turns it over to freezing rain, and then it turns it over to rain. That can often happen, but the problems with freezing rain can be immense. This is an old picture from the days they were keeping power lines and everything above ground. This is one of the main reasons why they were put below ground. In fact, there was a blizzard in 1888 in New England, in Connecticut especially. They said, that's it. Power lines have got to go underground because look at the ice formation here. Ice will coat everything and freezing rain can just damage all kinds of trees and power lines. It creates a tremendous amount of damage, especially back east. If you've got questions or if you're a teacher, you want me to come visit your class, you can reach me at weather at fox9now.com and hopefully we'll get some more great questions. I can't believe how good these questions have been from the kids and we've got more yeah. to come too. They're really good and just take it from me, freezing rain, also not good when you're trying to walk on a sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, not good. for sure. <laughs> 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 and off to the hospital. Mm. Coming up next. On Fox 9. On